Women FC TV with Adam Hinchwood following a 3-1 win over Chippenham Town in the National League South. Adam, back to winning ways. Must be happy with that. No, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, it's carbon copy of what we've been about really uh, the first half. Some good passages of play. We got in behind them a few times without having that that killer edge, and then we can see the soft goal. Um, it's a little bit of a, a pattern of, of what it's been like, um, but you know. We had a little change to the system, um, and you know it seemed to seem to help us. But um, yeah, like it's, it's all very well showing the lads on the tactics board. They got to go out and 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 deliver it, and I thought they'd done that excellently. Um, you know, it was a lot of pressure. Um, you know, we really got some momentum, and we seemed to get it going that way, um, which 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 helps us. And um, yeah, just delighted to to get the three points. Really good reaction from them as well to concede that late in the first half and then get that goal so early in the second. They couldn't have really got off to a better impact in that second half. No, definitely that. Um, you know, disappointing that late. It was literally the last um, kick of the game, really, uh, kick of the kick of the half. Um, so, you know, disappointed to be coming in one 0 down. But yeah, you want them to to start on the front foot and, and go at them. And uh, you know, the boys have done that. And uh, yeah, we know that we've got. Um, player that can score goals at this level when he's confident and uh, he's working hard for the team um, you know and he gets in a good place he's there's no not too many people that you want in front of the goal um, and you know he's, he's proved that again today. Yeah it's such an idea I mean three great strikers goals uh, might have been a perfect hat trick I'm not sure I'm not 100% but there was a header in there which are yeah. a little bit rare for us these days but two and two uh, two and two weeks no. which is pretty promising but yeah a great hat trick for me what a performance from him today. No definitely yeah this um you know, he's sort of didn't start the season um, too well, like in terms of getting minutes and stuff like that. But you know, what a response! And um, you know, this one thing you do know is that he can score goals. Um, he scored goals no matter what level we've been at. Um, but just getting him confident, he's working hard. I think um, since you know we've lost one or two um, bigger characters from from the team, I think he he's been one that's really really stood uh, st uh, st stood up to to that challenge. Bloody hell, I can't get words out there. Easy for you to say. No, but him, him and Joel in particular have stood up to to it really well and uh, been been immense for us. Um, so yeah, delight for him. Brilliant. And uh, another player that's you know fantastic asset to have at this level, Kane Wills. Everyone on the pitch though, uh, left back, centre back, uh, you can put him wherever and he'll work. No, yeah, um, yeah. I think he's played all, all the roles in, in the back line today. He's started at right back, then moved to centre back, and then, like I say, finished at left back. So, um, yeah, it's really, really good to have a, a player that can do that for you. Um, you know, especially how I like to change and, and tinker with things and um, try stuff and when you've got players like Kane that can just fill in and a variety of positions and you know there's got to be some sort of reward for playing in three positions in one game uh, along the back line there but um, you know it, it, he's, he's been excellent as well he's he stood up to the plate um, when, when we needed um, and like I say he's been one of the first names on the team sheet at left back, um, you know, and that's that's all you can ask. So people come in and they get opportunities. They've got to take it. And Kane's a bit like Ollie. Didn't feature too much at the start of the season for for different reasons. I think Kane didn't have much of a pre-season, but um, since he's come in, he's been he's been excellent for us. Another bit of team news in there was Glenn Ray coming off the bench in the second half. Again, another massive boost, and a week earlier as well than expected. No, well, yeah, I was hoping to. Um, just have him back for training, but he's turned up Thursday, he said my toe feels fine, I want to train, and then he got through training and said so no reaction and it feels pain free, so I want to get out there and got a message from him this morning saying I'm ready to go for whatever you need me for. Um, so yeah, it was great to get him on. Jesse, you could feel, um, could see, sorry, that he was feeling his calf a little bit, just the way he was running and, and grimacing a little bit. So um, yeah, no, I just thought he'd shore things up by you know putting Glenn there and then Kane to, to left back and uh, you know an excellent, excellent player. We got we've got some big players to come back. Um, and we're still in the mix of things, so you know it, it bodes well. And we just want to keep on pushing. And like I say, we've been saying it now for a while we've had some good performances and then we struggled to, to find some momentum but you know whatever way you want to look at it I think that's 
uh, two draws and two wins in the last four games. Um, so it was important after Taunton um, to get three points today. Um, and yeah, like I say, go one nil down. It just shows the character that these players have got. Absolutely. And now we're heading to Western Supermount on Tuesday. A long journey for us again in cold conditions as well. So who knows how that pitch will hold up. But how are you feeling heading into that now? I mean, yeah, as you say, like four games unbeaten. Pretty promising to head into a game like that. No, yeah, that's it. We've got to, got to um, take the positives. Um, you know, this rightly so been been some criticism of late. Um, you know, we've gone out of the cup competitions. Uh, but all we have got now is one focus, and one focus is to get as many points on the board as we can. Um, you know, we've we've got three today, and we want to build on that and do all we can to try and you know add to our points tally uh, on Tuesday night.